Hi, welcome to KCRW. Come on in. So let me tell you a little bit about KCRW. We are a public radio station based here in Santa Monica, California. Most of it is in creating content around design and architecture, news, music. We do video. We're kind of a full-service media operation. It's incredibly complex. I think there's over 19 different network systems that had to talk to each other. And then, of course, we had to train our staff. And the people that help train our staff and make this thing actually work is just unbelievable. And we couldn't have done it alone. So with that, let's go get technical, and I want to introduce you to Steve Herbert, our chief engineer. My name is Stephen Herbert. I'm the chief engineer for KCRW. My role in the design primarily was to work on broadcast systems and the radio portion of the facility. We're going to go into the uh, on-air control room that's focused for news talk while it's not so occupied right now, and we can get in and take a look at it. This is the on-air control room for news and talk. It's on the second floor here. We designed the space so that we could either have the talent in a uh, studio removed from the control room, which is traditional in most radio stations. In our old location, the talent was very accustomed to sitting directly across from the operator who would sit here. So that's the way they still use it to stay in this new location. And the space is set up so it can support either, either uh, activity. So there's some back office type of uh, equipment that supports each of these spaces. Each floor has a small room. We're going to go to the Technical Operations Center, TOC, just to take a real quick look at a bunch of computer switches and uh, servers. So we're in our third floor technical space, TOC. And what's interesting about this space for us is this is where everything sort of goes out the door and gets to the audience uh, over microwave and satellite infrastructure. So we have a satellite uplink uh, provided to us by XDS Systems. It's a KU uplink system that uh, is pushing out three different formats of KCRW. In the other space, we have more of our Axia nodes as we take more sources in and out of here. And what they are is these are our IP converters. They are taking the audio sources that we have that are in an audio format and converting them into an IP stream. Coming across, we have some what are playout servers. These are used with our Dillette system for playing out audio, as opposed to having a machine in the studio itself. They can access one of these servers and be routed, again, through the Axia network to play out of their console or be routed directly onto the air from the console so it doesn't actually have to go up and down again. A lot of remote control. So these two boxes here are our satellite receivers that we get all of the public radio content, morning edition, all things considered. So from this point, I think we're gonna go down to our first floor, which is our music-centric floor, and take a look at the performance spaces in our on-air control room there. All right, we are now in the on-air control room on our first floor. This is the control room that is tied to our music side of the house. Jason Bentley is here with us. He just finished on the air. Hi, everybody. It's Morning Becomes Eclectic. I'm Jason Bentley, and this is member-supported 89.9 KCRW Santa Monica, Los Angeles. <laughs> Hello, my name is Andrew Weiler. I'm a video producer here at KCRW. Video at a radio station is a bit tricky, but the building itself is very much wired for video. So when we do a shoot here at the station live, we've got um, nine cameras rolling. So we've got five operators that'll be in the room, um, shoulder mounted, headsets on. It's a group effort. This performance space is very dynamic and it can be used in all, all varieties. And because of the way this building is set up and it's wired together, we're able to be nimble and cover those different events or those different varieties in many different ways. I really want to thank all the people that were involved in this project and also Key Code and the other technical staff that really wove this building together. 